Yo, back, back with it. It's been about 10 days, so get a little bit of time. It's been some interesting changes. We'll see. You know, the market has not been doing well at all. I mean, relatively, so we'll see how that looks for us. Uh, There's been some changes to get to the deletions. These D5-3 coins were garbage, relatively. Um, out of all of them, only went lost half on scary chain the rest relatively went to zero still have the multi chain but it's down at like one or two dollars for what i had and where's rebasing that garbage so you know just hold on to it but for the most part that's where we at so had 18 bucks out of that um also had some charm that was able to that had tripled sold off the um, the part I put into it, which was like twenty dollars, and it went to like fifty, not triple, quite say, but two and a half times. Um, and almost two and a half times, yeah. and or was able to just hold on to that, and I believe I switched half of it to USD, and I, I staked it. I'll show that a little bit on the um d bank app we get to that in a second but <clears throat> for now climber um we went in climber this went down price tremendously we went at thousand dollars had 0.5 now we have almost one at 0.93 and it's at 439 so climber the price has gone down a lot but when the price go back up you can see how much more we have and that's been almost we almost have been a month in now with all of this uh snow bank it's not doing well um goes up in our um amount but the price is horrible wonderland's not doing well either we have a probably a total of two probably about do the estimate about 250 in and it's not so bad we're probably about 250 in total and we're at 208 and it's gone down a lot but we have um you know a lot more than we did when we started umani we have one now price has gone down on that as well price has gone down on ohm so all of the de uh, decentralized 2.0 coins where you buy their own liquidity have gone down a lot in their price but Remember, as we discussed at the beginning of this, and we'll talk about it as we go through, is all about a lot of this is the psychology of the understanding of it. And you can't allow yourself to panic when you see the numbers go red. That's it should that should excite you for a time to buy. Now, we'll get to this at the end, but there's been a new purchase and I'm very super bullish on the long term prospects of this. So anything that i you know i'm not going to sell any of the of what's been in any of these projects we're just going to ride them out and watch because that has been the plan all along as is knowing the price is going to up and down in the market now of course if it go tremendously high and we just have to take some profits at times of course you know especially when as soon as we can get out whatever we put in but other than that um we're just gonna this is the long game and we have a very good project for the long game going forward We'll get to in a second as we go through the course of this. <clears throat> so Spartacus. Now Spartacus here is going to be a little bit different because, well, let's get to that now. You see, we are. It's in red now because technically I have and let me go here. Um, 0.26 wrapped Sparta right now. And the rest of it, I switched over to wrapped stake Sparta. I have, I'm sorry, 0.26 stake Sparta. And then I wrapped about 0.6 of it and put it into Sparta Cadabra. And I borrowed against it with Lambda. And so that's what's happening over here right now. Um, and, but, you know, a lot of this. And then I also took, like I said, the charm that I had and turned it into a farm with uh, the price had dropped by the time I sold it. And then later on, the price had dropped by the time Sparta Cadabra came out. But I took the little bit that I had and made it into a farm with a USD 
over there. So over time, you know, I expect these to do much better. Right now, the uh, markets are doing really, really bad. I didn't go crazy on the lending. I think I only did like two or three time um, lending against my collateral. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, my hours is it's doing all right. Look, I put in what about 199 and I'm at like 198 right now. And that also has a, is a star or Shiba and you know, like the rest of the market, Shiba's gone down. But the, um, the Meyer with the Elrond, even though, um, Elrond's gone down by half. Now the, that app has changed, you know, from the strategy of, you know, staking with lock max and max and turning it. They changed it with they because they changed the APRs. They wanted people to um, they want people to get the max basically. So what I do now is lock everything. My little LP tokens. I'm not adding on to them. I just have my 0.12 LP tokens on there. But everything I get in max lock max, I just lock it and stake it in max as well for as well. And, and look, they had us locked out of that app for about maybe close to a week, five days to a week. But when I opened it up and was able to go in. Um, I had a, a 25% increase <laughs> in, 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 you know, in, in what I had. So I, I took that max. That was a 25% increase what I had in my um, in my LP tokens and just threw it in the, in the max pool and staking it. So like I said, long run, not, 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 not going to add to this one. This is now, you know, now you... None of this is financial advice. None of this is any type of advice. Um, spiritual advice, relationship advice, medical advice, wellness advice, nothing, uh, wilderness advice. This is nothing to take it as any stage. This is just for you and your own. Now, these other ones are not doing too bad. Grim Finance making money. The Grim... Um, I put in 50 some dollars in how long ago? About two weeks, and it's up 10. So, Grim Finance, which is the uh, staking of T shares, is doing well. Geist, not so well. But it, with that, I should also have a. It's just, with, look, I'll show you. If I put the red on there, it kills your eyes. You don't want nobody wants to look at that. So, the Geist, though, is also a bit of an asterisk in the sense where. You get the guys. I don't believe I had. I probably yeah took that one down. You get the guys, and then you. I'm sorry. You you have the LP token, and then you earn guys, and then you stake that on their platform. You have to vest that into their platform when you build up enough of it. So we'll keep an eye on that. That number actually is increasing. And oh, actually, it's probably yeah. It's right here. You can see. So you have my I have my LP tokens in Geist and then I'm getting earning Geist from it, which I then vest back with them. So that's where you get to it <clears throat> to compound your your earnings with that platform. Reaper, they've called fell down a little bit, but not too bad. You can see um, the T-shirts, the T-shirts actually out of all this has been doing well during this bear market. A bit of a tiny down bear. I won't call it a bear market. I mean, I guess you probably could technically from the sense of um, the, the, the numbers, but I like, I like to look at things on a larger uh, time span. These these are a bit up and downs when we're in a still appear to be a, um, a bull market. I don't feel like we I don't know if this is the thing you want to say is feeling, but, you know, I don't I don't see the the long term indicator saying that we have entered a bear market yet. Some, I guess some people call it short-term bears. But anyway, T-Share is doing pretty well. As you can see, it's maintained at least. And while I've been accumulating more of it here in the Reaper farm from 0.206 to 0.44, and the price has gone down, this hasn't gone down that much because, you know, it's been relatively stable and I've accumulated more, which, like I said, at the end of the day, this makes me happy. Knowing, seeing these numbers go up over time, look, I'm almost double the amount of climbing I had. I believe I, no, I, had, I, didn't, I haven't had anything in, um, anymore in. Um, 
be looking at and all of this just like i said seeing those numbers go up not worrying so much about these that's the, that's the key to all of this because over I, I, when you've been in this long enough you if you have conviction about the things you pick and you run with you're fine with it now let's get on to what i think is going to be the future i've talked about i think crypto gaming is going to be super huge i've spoken about how i believe that Let's switch this to before I go down that path. Let's just let's, let's do some bookkeeping as well. If you have Zapper, <clears throat> see what I'm gonna put on Polygon or something. And Loomatic over here. Got a we have to got Simosomatic over here. Can I do my quest for the day. Refresh, you can say refresh is your best friend in all of this. So if you're not coming at um, Zapper, you can possibly on a bit of an airdrop get these get free stuff out of this. And I'm just gonna show you a little itty bitty stuff I do in here to earn stuff. And like here, okay, boom, I got to do an exchange. So I'm gonna switch and make, make it climb up because that's what I do. Uh, yeah, I might have to send myself some. Send myself some Matic. I mean, I have enough to do with the little bit I'm about to show you now, but I'm going to send myself some at some point. So I'm just going to put point one of Matic in all three of these, the exchange, the pool, and save. And remember, these are the, the basic fundamentals of decentralized finance. And there's three things we're going to kind of put together in one that we found that I think is going to really be super huge in the future. I don't know. This none of this financial advice. I could be completely wrong. You know, who am I? You know, most... <laughs> an, an intelligent black man determined to succeed. We'll get into who the who am I. Is that's a uh, let's go back to high school's long story. Is this is this still maybe people are um oh, look like it went through. Transform ERC Okay, let's go. So that's the exchange. You go to pool. And I'm going to add to this pool. And I'm going to see how they already make it simple for you. You just tell you what I want to put 0.1. I would just take take some of my Matic and switch it into this um, BCT climber pool. Confirm. Oh, you know what? I'm not getting a ding. And that's what threw me off. So there's three things you're going to do. And these three things you need to understand about decentralized finance, which is you can exchange things, swap tokens back and forth. Simple. Seems, seems simple, but, you know, for the most part, they used to be controlled by other people. Centralized. You got to come to me and I decide that I can switch this for that. And I'm not going to switch this for that. Or I'm going to lock that down. That's how that used to work. Now, that's decentralized. So you can switch things back and forth. Simple, right? The next thing is... How do you switch things back and forth? Well, there has to be a pool of money. And before that used to be centralized that a Coinbase or a Gemini or a Binance has a pool of all of the Ethereum and the Bitcoin. If you want some Ethereum and you got Bitcoin, you go to them and give it to them and they got a pool of it and they can switch back and forth. They got a lot of it, basically. Now, decentralized, you have that. You're part of that. Everyone throws their money in. All the people with Bitcoin, you got to come with half and half. And I just showed you here, though. You can come with one thing and they can put it half and half for you. There's going to be fees in that. And that fees is what you get paid off of. That's why you give your money to this, because you get a bit of that, that back and forth every time. So there's a big pool. You give half Bitcoin, half Ethereum or half USD, half um, AVAX or whatever it may be to that pool. 
and whatever money go back and forth out of it, the fees, you get a piece of it depending on how much of that pool you, you, you know, you contribute to. If you contribute a large chunk of it, you get a large chunk of the fees. If you contribute a small chunk, you get a small chunk of the fees. Nature to beast, right? And then the final thing is saving. It's taking my a um, polygon, in this case, my Matic, <clears throat> wrapping it and saving it with them. And so by doing all three things, I am doing decentralized finance. I am exchanging coins back and forth. I am providing liquidity. That's what a liquidity pool is for the pool. I am providing liquidity, giving money for the pool of things going back and forth. And then I am putting my coins, um, giving them to, a, to the protocol to stake it to allow the protocol to function and be powerful and I get a percentage of, of any new coins that come out or of the fees that come because of that, depending on, you know, what kind of protocol we're dealing with. And so Zapper teaches you all this and helps you go along these paths. Sorry, I got a little bit distracted and came and accidentally claimed all this, thinking just on GP so but yeah so after I did all those things came here to quest I was able to claim these and earn more vote which possibly may be somewhat part of an airdrop with zapper so okay don't forget to do that okay let's get to what the, the, the main topic of today not main topic but where I think I have a lot of conviction of where the future is going to go and that's this DeFi kingdoms. If you haven't heard of this, go look it up. If you have heard of this and you were part of it, I know you enjoy it. If you are have heard of it and not got part of it yet, you're missing out. Look, this puts all three of everything I've been talking about. Not even not even just the three of DeFi, but the big three of DeFi, NFT, and the metaverse all going to be wrapped in one thing in gaming all wrapped in one now the game part of it is not quite built out yet and they showed the roadmap the roadmap has been and they've been following it has been killer and we're not gonna get all into the music like you know of it music is dope but it is what it is so long and short of it i'm just going to show you really quickly how to get money over to harmony that's on the um the Harmony Network of in your MetaMask wallet. There's other like another Harmony wallet you can. And I think I download. I did download that wallet because things were. I'll explain that later. But we we'll get to that. So anyway, if you need to go here to Chain List and search Harmony One and hover over and get that. Shard zero, connect your wallet, boom, 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 get down to the mix. And then now you can put bridge either through in the future, you'll be through most everything. Avalanche Phantom, but right now you can bridge through Ethereum and Binance to Harmony. I've been doing Binance because it's way cheaper, but you it may be easier for you to do Ethereum if you don't know how to get money to Binance. The quickest, easiest way for me has been using my Exodus wallet to turn anything into BSC in the Exodus wallet. There's two Binances in the Exodus wallet. Be very careful. There's BNB and BSC, Binance Smart Chain. You want to be on a B, uh, Binance Smart Chain. So we're going to assume that you were able to switch from your Gemini or your Coinbase to your Exodus wallet and switched over to Binance. So however you were to get BSC, you were able to figure out. And now you have BSC, switch over there. So you are on a Binance, and same way you chain list, I went to um, and got the Binance Smart Chain as well. So I have, Bin I have 0.15 BNB Binance Smart Chain that I sent over from my Exodus wallet literally to this um metamask okay now here in pancake swap which is the swap for binance i'm going to swap for one and i want this harmony one 
VA can't pay case swap. Yes, I understand. Import. And I'm going to swap over. Now, Binance, you don't need much of. So I'm going to do. Wait, do you not? Yeah, I think I can do. I get away with point one four. And that's going to give me 441 one. I think I can even go even because I'm not going to use this is not the method I'm going to use to put any uh, one into this account. I'm just doing this for purposes of showing showing you. So I'm not really wanting to keep this one open that well much. So let's do that. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have that that much. Let's see. Four five. I don't want it to get to the point where I didn't have to send more because I didn't have enough. But I think I have I think I have enough if I I think it's not that much it costed to you. I think the Binance chain is pretty um, inexpensive as well. Let's go with this. Confirm swap. Yeah, you see how much it's using? The gas fee, so I'm tripping. I don't have one on there. And it goes pretty fast. So Binance Smart Chain is it is is super awesome, but and there's a caveat to it. And it's not a bad caveat. The caveat is that it's a lot of scammy coins on Binance Smart Chain. So just be careful going this road. But you can go a lot of, you know, Moon River and Polka Dot down down those pathways off the Binance Smart Chain. So here, you know, use the Binance Smart Chain. Now, you go here to this, and I'll put these two links for the pancake swap and um, this Harmony Bridge in the um, descriptive below. But I go here to this Harmony One Bridge, and you can see you got Ethereum and Binance. I'm on Binance. Then I go here to One. Oh, okay, gotta add my wallet first. Go to MetaMask, connect, yes, yes. And I gotta create. Um, my meta, I'm doing the MetaMask wallet, authorized MetaMask to have my Harmony One. And, you know, I already have a Harmony One chain built into it. So it'll use the Harmony One MetaMask. So it shows how much I have of one, but on Binance and the Binance Smart Chain. And I'm going to send that amount. Actually, I'm going to try to... Usually, I just send just the what's never want to send everything. To my address. Yep, my address. Continue. Now, when I first did this, as well, somewhat earlier, when I first was doing this, you know, pri privately for myself, this was taking literally, literally, not joking, not hyperbole, eight hours to complete each step. You're going to see most of this go quickly. I'm saying that now, but now it's kind of... Yeah, okay. Let me refresh and start over because... All right. No, finance. Okay. Can I just do this? I was trying to go fast. Okay, okay. Now, when you do this, be careful. Wait for this to... I'm pointing at the screen. You can't see me. Wait for this to load. I think sometimes I was going too fast and pushing that. But wait for that to load to tell you how much the fee is going to be. Just be patient. But now, literally, each of these steps, you see how that went, that, that click, just boom, boom. In a second, it's going to load in, give me a number, then I'm going to confirm. And if not, I'll back out, refresh, and do it again. But right there, boom. Gives me how much it's going to charge me, 28 cents. Each of these steps, this confirm then it's going to start it was taking eight hours i was like this is un this is impossible to use this i was like harmony broken but i don't know what was going on i switched over to some rpo pocket net 
stuff. See how quickly this is going now? And this is main net. This is regular main net. This is nothing special and fancy. And um, but so I just think something was happening the day I was getting in. A lot of people start either was going in or something. But since then, Harmony has been super fast, super fast, super reliable, incredible. I'm very bullish on Harmony now. Well, actually, I'm bullish on DeFi Kingdoms. DeFi Kingdoms will be on Avalanche and Phantom in the next year or so, and probably uh, each of the networks that can move with it, uh, that can handle it appropriately. Because to do this on Ethereum will cost too much money. So at the moment, but Ethereum 2.0 may be a different story. But DeFi Kingdoms takes in everything. I'm just showing you how long it takes. And I can pause this or go somewhere else as we wait for this to go in. But I'll, I'll you know, let you get a sense of it. And I'll explain why I'm so bullish on it. It's super simple. It's going to help people who don't understand a lot of these things understand them. It's teaching them how to create liquidity pools. And I'm not going to go into all the little aspects of DeFi Kingdom right now, like showing it. Because it you know, has NFTs it has that, are, that have value, use. They will help you in the system to make more money to you know all of this is about money to make more money um okay so completely done and that and that span of time like i said this took two days or a day and a half when i was first doing this and so we go here and you can see we switch over to harmony now and we have our one there I'm gonna go DeFi Kingdom and really quick I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do. All of it I'm just gonna put uh, create, go to the marketplace. I'm gonna trans uh, most of this to Jewel. Jewel is the, the token of <clears throat> actually I'm gonna do a liquidity pair with probably Phantom. Normally I've been doing Jewel in one, which is one is the you know the Ethereum of Harmony, basically. Just like you got Phantom. Avalanche one is of Harmony Network and Jewel is the main coin of DeFi Kingdoms. But we're going to get almost half. Let me see. I'm going to keep about in there. I'm going to keep five. So that's going to be. Let me do the math in a second. I don't want to do it in front of y'all like this. So basically, I'm going to turn to a liquidity pair, half Jewel, half Phantom. So 225 of jewel give me a swap on that will give me close to half amount of this one i have and then the other pair i want is going to be okay oh, did it not did i fail i think that means it failed Yeah, it failed. That's rare. It only happened happened once. I've seen that before, but like I said, this usually happens pretty quickly and without problems. And of course, as I say that, you see one of it, but that let you know, hey, things is real. Hungry is how I feel. I rob and kill because the devil got that whip appeal. This biggie. Hope they don't. I don't get um. <laughs> Copyright striked over uh, just spitting a bar. So of, of uh, okay, there we go. Let's swap there. Two twenty-five of Phantom. The rest I'm gonna turn into Jewel. I'll show you what I'm all I'm gonna do exactly. What I'm gonna do with that. Probably should have did the Phantom first, then that would have made more sense. And Phantom to my MetaMask. Close. And now I'm only going to keep like 5 1. I don't need much. So 6.3272. I'm going to turn into Jewel and Swamp. I'm going to say I should have did Phantom first, and then that way I could just calculate it to exactly how much. I want to leave because one costs literally pennies, less than pennies 
to do a transaction. You're going to do hundreds of transactions doing this. And it costs less than pennies. So that five, one, and each one costs like 19 cents. So this is like a, what, about a dollar? And, and this will probably get me through a couple of months <laughs> of transactions doing, you know, possibly hundreds of transactions. So that's awesome. All right. So now that I have my Phantom and my Jewel, I'm going to create a pool over here with the Druid. So here, Jewel, here, Phantom. And I'm going to max my Phantom because that because I know I got more Jewel than I got Phantom. Approve. Confirm. Transaction fee is zero. You know, on Ethereum, we like thirty five dollars to confirm a, to confirm a transaction. Here's effectively zero because pennies on this. Like I said, it's, it's pennies on the penny, which is awesome. By adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.2% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool. Accrued in real time can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. I'm going to supply this pool. So we go to the Druid to create a potion. The potion we've created is Jewel and Phantom. Our Jewel and Phantom potion is going to empower other individuals to use Jewel and Phantom. See, it's right here. Now, you're not done yet. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. That's just creating the seed. What you gonna do with a seed in life? Huh? What you gonna do with a seed? You gonna plant that seed. So we go to seed, go to seed box here. We at the seed box. See, I already have a jewel in one planty. Till we come to that. Deposit. And I don't know how to put this onto the um Spreadsheet in a way that makes sense yet of all the different things. So I'll just try to keep track of how much it is in a way. So we are, we're at Jewel and Phantom. We have some seeds. We're going to deposit our liquidity tokens. We're going to deposit all of this. We have to approve it first. Effectively zero, right? How good is that, y'all? For real. I mean, when you see that after it been in Ethereum land, how good is that? And this game is so awesome because, look, this is just the whole DAX aspect of it. Decentralized exchange. Swapping, like we talked about, swapping. Um, creating liquidity pairs. And now you take your liquidity pair, deposit in this farm, and they compound the interest and pay you out in Jewel. So you earn Jewel on um, your liquidity pair, your fees on the fees here, and you can see it. Now we just put this in, and in the game you can go here and you'll see like what you have to accrue. Now the game, it's a lot. Of, I'm not gonna go into like I said. I'll probably do a separate video talking about the whole locked and unlocked and over time and how you know the tokenomics of the game where they're trying to really extend and boost this to be one of the just premier. Um, protocols slash game slash functions universes in um <laughs> they did the crypto sphere so and they're doing a great job with it. anyway so you can see you have a, a lock balance and a unlock balance go here your harvest when you view your harvest it show you current lock rate is 69 percent is locked until block da, 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 which is four days and we'll change to 67 so what happens is and i'm not go too deep into it but it's you know, everything you are harvesting or, or accruing, it was when it first started off was like 98% locked. And then it has been going down by 2% like once a week to one year within it's going to unlock by, you know, the same amount going for the next year. To around at which time we unlock literally over the next year. And we're not claiming it. Sorry, we're about to claim it, but I'm just <clears throat> but I would have to probably do it in my MetaMask as well. Right now, I'm just. I haven't decided how if I want to harvest because once you harvest then you can what I'll do then and what I'll do with this extra jewel I have is go over here to the bank and you can put it in the bank as staking. So I'm going to deposit all of this. And so the jewel you have you put into the bank 
and that right there is this number you see here will always increase so each jewel was each one one day you know years in the, not years months ago when this came out and it hadn't been that long it's only been about three or four months old one jewel was one x jewel but over time now one x jewel equals one point six two jewel so this will increase over time so right now i put in when i think i put in it was just like point one five something over time so over the past two or three days it's gone up to point six two and you can see how much jewel you'll have in there so i'll tell you this amount but you know it's, it's staking it, it increases and this goes you get a third of the um generated trading fees that's where the staking comes from Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. And so that's, you know, the decks of it. You got the staking, you got the liquidity pools, you got the farming, putting your liquidity pools, getting the compound interest on your liquidity pools in here. And you see the different things you have. You have AVAX, Jewel, uh, um, Terra, UST, USDC, ETH. You have um, One, Harmony One, and US, um, and US. USDC, you have one in ETH, you have Bitcoin in ETH. So you can do all these different liquidity pools. And then we get crazy as you go over here and you start getting into heroes, which are these NFTs. And these are selling for, hold on. You see they're selling for about 40, 41 a piece and that'll be about, let's say 42, about $285. At the base, the floor is 285 bucks <clears throat> for, and these are, here's the floor. Okay, Gen 3 with two summons, one summons. It's a long story, but using these, you can summon other ones, and then they can also mine out your liquidity tokens, your locked jewel You'll be able to use these at some point to mine out that lock jewel before one year. Or you'll be able to garden and create even greater uh, APR in your liquidity farms. <laughs> this game is crazy. So, and it's going to be a PVE, a fighting game, all of, you know, where they'll fight each other based on their stats and strengths. Um, they can be paired together, for example, a. A monk and a oh, okay here a thief and an archer can create a nin I'm um, sorry a dark knight. This is 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 it's a lot, but I'm not gonna go into the depth of it now. But then for the most part, they're gonna sell land soon. They're gonna send land land around here. You'll be able to build on your own, so you'll be able to buy your own land, have your own NFTs that able to forge hunt build on that land create and sell and trade with others and then you better go to the dock when you go to the dock you go here to any swap and they're really to do business with not switching cancel to um they're gonna go phantom and um an avalanche they're going to um bridge out to but it'll be like an expansion so the avalanche want to be in the mountains with mountain like you know a different country of DeFi kingdom even like even though different chains are going to be like different lands so it'll be its own ecosystem that'll be able to trade things that you won't be able to get in harmony world on avalanche you'll be able to send over you'll be able to bridge over and then use that potions and spells like I don't have any heroes on this account yet. I think I'm going to ask somebody to gift this this account for Christmas with a, a at least one hero so I can start building my inventory and go, you know, going and doing a different um, quest. So you have all everything, everything. It seems silly. Trust me. But this is going to be so huge. And right. A market cap of this is like 400 billion, 500 billion. This goes to 10, when it 10x to 5 billion, when it, when it 100x to 50 billion, you know, across the different platforms. Don't you want to be in, this is still ground floor, but none of this financial advice, not going to keep you long. Super bullish on this. Any money we make now in here, once this is where the, this is DeFi Kingdoms is a savings account, either in the liquidity pool, probably something thrown into a liquidity pool. And then into the staking 
that comes out of liquidity. That's what's up. Didn't mean to keep you as long, but probably shouldn't have thought it would get here. It's been 10 days, so it is what it is. I love you. You love you. God loves us. And that's all that matters.